this is the third lesson in Led Zeppelin Live um, 1969 Texas Pop Festival. I Can't Quit You Baby. Um, this is based on the second verse, which is mostly instrumental, although Robert Plant does come in and sing a little bit towards the end of the verse. Dynamically, it's way down. So um, I'm starting with my neck pickup. And after the first chord, I'm backing my volume way off for those low dynamics. Some really cool blues licks that are in there. Um, then I'm going to roll my volume back up. Um, there's just some uh, amazing stuff in there. And then uh, I am going to switch to my bridge pickup um, towards the end where, it, where the dynamics pick back up. And I, I like to call this um, the, um, the quiet before the storm because the oncoming storm is going to be the raging guitar solo that's next up. So I uh, hope you enjoy. All right, so what we're doing here on the second verse is I'm starting with my neck pickup. And I'm, the first verse kind of ended where I, I played this note. It's a G note there on the fifth fret of the fourth string. It's my flat to seventh over the uh, A chord. And then I'm going to do a slide into my D9 chord. Right after I do that, I'm going to back off on my volume way way back because I got this really sweet low dynamic and that's going to be on the 10th fret second string where I'm starting going up to the 13th fret and that that full like two-step bend a little slide down and then I'm going to go into this riff this is such a cool tasty riff it's so simple but so cool just love that so I'm sliding into the um, sixth fret of the third string then I'm up there on the fifth fret of the second string it's like the major third another slide into the major third ending on the flat seventh major third fifth minor minor third major third um, such a cool riff and then followed by another super tasty riff We've seen that one before. I'm going to chromatically walk down into the major third of the A chord. Sorry. All right. So I'm walking down from the seventh fret down to the fourth fret. Then on the fourth string, I'm going to slide up to the seventh fret and land on the uh, fifth fret. I'm going to do this. We've all done this, right? The, the cool little uh, bluesy slide up. I'm just going to bar across uh, the fifth fret. Robert Plant's going to come in and sing a few oohs and ahs, and then it's going to happen again. Maybe change your phrasing up a little bit. All right, then we're going to uh, turn our volume all the way back up, and we're going to do these double stop bends. So uh, I'm starting on the 10th fret, third string with my bend, bending finger, and then my stationary finger is going to be on the 8th fret, second string. Half step down, same bend. Full step down, same bend. Now the next riff is probably my favorite in the whole verse. Uh, it goes like this. And the reason I like this so much is because it reminds me of the ending riff in 10 Years Gone, that really catchy. And I like to think that maybe this was the, the first appearance of that. <laughs> I'm probably digging in too deep for that. But uh, anyways, it's so cool. Alright, so I'm starting here on the 7th fret, 5th string, going up to the 9th fret. Then I'm going up to the 9th fret, 4th string. A little bend. Alright, and then I'm going to go bending up a little bit on the 9th fret, 3rd string. And finishing off right there. Right. And then I'm going to slide down, and then we've got... We're up to the five chord now, so uh, that um, E7 sharp nine chord. 
then we got some six that we're walking. <laughs> So I got a major sixth shape here where my first finger is on the 10th fret first string and my second finger is on the 11th fret third string. Same uh, major sixth interval, uh, full step down. Then I've got a minor sixth interval where I'm on the uh, seventh fret third string and first string. And then um, another minor seventh interval on the fifth fret. Now, really quick, I'm going to switch down to my bridge because I need the fire breathing dragon right here. This is a really, really fast um, riff that's going to start kind of like that a hammer on and pull off from the eighth fret to the fifth fret on the second string. And it's just kind of you just go for it. Here's your starting point. Remember, starting points and ending points, right? So here's my starting point. My ending point is right there on the seventh fret, fourth string. All right, so. You know, and then we got our chords A to B flat. Uh, and now this time I'm going to start on the fifth fret, fifth string. And my ending point is going to be that major third again over the A chord. Right? So. And then we're into the guitar solo, all right? So that kind of takes us through that whole verse. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you for the guitar solo. <laughs>